What's up, everybody? A lot of people be asking me, right? What's the reason that French Street Quano, man, why did he die like that? And that's crazy because we seen him lose his life by the police. So it's kind of hard for me to give you an answer for that because we all seen how he lost his life. But my only thing with that shit, to be honest, if I was to speak on that, my only thing with that is, you know, I wish, bro, probably would have chilled, you know, before he ran in front of that crib. He was in a crib, you know. You can run from the police. I mean, you got to get the fuck away from 12. You got to get the fuck away from 12. You got to jump out a window or whatever the hell you got to do. You got to do it. It's cool. But once they in there and they come in the house and they ready to lay that motherfucker down and serve that warrant and you know what I'm saying? You get up, uh, you just try to bail on their ass and they chase after you, bro. They might kill you. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would have just hit that in the back of his head, you know, that... Uh, even if you don't make no false move, you just don't, you know what I'm saying, trying to run this shit, you know, these polices ain't never been in the hood, they grew up in Huckleberry, you know, they ain't never been in the hood, bro, and police didn't grew up in Huckleberry, they was raised in Huckleberry, went to school in Huckleberry, got married in Huckleberry, went to the police academy in, in Huckleberry, they graduated in Huckleberry, then they set their ass out there in O Block. You feel me? Set the ass out there on motherfucking 63rd in St. Lawrence. You feel me? On motherfucking 79th. Set the ass out there. They don't know nothing about the hood. They been in Huckleberry. All they know about your neighborhood is shit, that videos. And how y'all drill videos be looking, right? You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm kind of concerned when I seen Tim run, not knowing that the police was going to be scared because they don't really be in the hood. They just... Do they nine to five out here, you know? They don't even be living in these communities, man. These police be living like, they be living like two, three, four hours away from where they work, man. They be living far as hell. And they be coming all the way out here to mistreat motherfuckers and shit. So that's what concerned me when Front Street Quano died, you know? When I seen that shit, because the video was on the internet, I seen it and I don't want to see it again. But when I seen it and I seen the police in the same room as him and he just shook it and shit that concerned me you know because i said you know these people ain't give motherfucker a chance but in my opinion you know police hawk them down shit i just wanted to say that because the people wanted to know my opinion on that shit and i feel that you know uh sometimes when you caught you caught that's just in my opinion everybody might not feel like that you know you might feel like you gotta do what you gotta do but in my opinion if you caught you caught you know what i'm saying and, and sometimes we just got to honor that shit and honor the fact that we caught. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes being caught might sit you down for a year or two, but it'll still give you those rest of your 60, 70 years of life. You know? But sometimes you make one of those jittery moves and shit, you know, and people ain't giving motherfuckers a second chance out here. So y'all be safe. It's the homie truth teller. Blech.